So we are heading into the uh, second coat of the epoxy phase of this uh, project. We're almost done, one more coat and then that's it. I'm getting prepared to mix some uh, epoxy. There are a few little differences with the second coat. So I have my, my two cups and I'll put, this time instead of using um, 10 cc's or 10 milliliters, I'm going to use 15. And the reason I'm going to do that is, after I'm done giving them their first coat, I'm going to pour half of what's left into this cup, and then I'm going to add some nice sparkle to it. So I have a special brush just for the sparkle, and I'm going to keep the sparkle and the epoxy in, 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 in one container, and um, in the other container I'm actually going to keep a little bit of the clear stuff because what, what tends to happen uh, as you put the epoxy on and you try to finish it off you, you think you're done. Okay so now you put on the, on, the, on the sparkle and you get that done. That's relatively simple. And then you start to spin it and you go oh my goodness I, I missed a spot. I missed a spot. So the first many times I did this I would always put all of the epoxy in the sparkle and I could never fix anything. So uh, this situation is remedied by keeping a little bit of that clear epoxy back. We'll use the, uh, the brush here for the clear epoxy and we'll keep that to the side after we're done the first coat just to make sure that we have it if we need it. So we're ready to put on the uh, second coat. Let's take a few bubbles off here. Now, this is very, very similar to the first coat. Just let the eyes go from the top down. There is one exception, however. When we get down to the tail area, we're going to be adding the sparkle. But the sparkle is contained within this two-part epoxy. So we're going to be giving the tail area from about here to the base its own coat. So although we'll put a little bit of epoxy on this tail, we're going to come back and give it an, a second coat with the sparkles in it. I have mixed some of the uh, white sparkle, although it's a few little colors in it, rainbow colors, but uh, I have this other color which I've used in the past, it's green. I kind of I think the, uh, the white stuff sparkles better when you put it in the sun, so that's what I'm going to use. You can, you can see that I've got some sparkle in the cup here, and now I'll use my separate brush just kind of rub it on as best I can. In the past I've had very very thick sparkle and I thought probably too much. So now what I do is I, I go a lot less. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle starting to glint in the light. Sometimes, depending on how much pox you have on, this sparkle can do a little traveling. I've seen some wander from the tail here, just through the spinning process and made it all the way up to the head, which is a little bit odd, but... Okay, so the next time you see this lure, it will have had two complete extra coats, so it'll be three total. 
and I'll be showing you the finished look. So here are the finished lures. The second coat and third coat went on really, really nice. One thing I like to do is I like to put the um, weight of the hook and I, sh I use a sharpie pen. They don't always come out of, okay, this one got kind of smeared. So I haven't really found a perfect pen that will uh, handle the uh, epoxy but these are ready to get thrown in ready to catch a wahoo I don't know if you can see the sparkle on here it kind of migrated up to the top loop but it's uh, it's a small amount of sparkle but to me I don't want to look like an ambulance coming to a an accident I want to I want to get noticed but not to the point where I scare them off same with this yellow striped version anyway uh, thank you for watching the next video that you see will be part 14 where I take these out to a local lake and test them out in fresh water and quite honestly part 15 is the one that I've been hoping and praying for it's where I catch a wahoo with one of my lures something about catching a fish with your own lures Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Bye.